Hey, Fernando. Um, hi. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Good, good. I'm doing well. I am doing well. Let's see. Hello, Camila. Uh, are you coming on into the classroom? To put the link in here. There you go. There's the link. Hey, Tin, how are you? I get a few more people in here. And usually we fill up pretty quickly. Okay, there's Fernando and Juan and Anna and Camila and uh, Heptron. Miliani, I'm doing very well, thank you. Let's see, are you going to join us? Okay, let's see. Well, uh, I'll tell you what. Let's just go ahead. People are joining, and some people are getting getting uh, knocked out as we go. So I'll put in the link one more time uh, for anyone who cannot see it. Anyway, it's good to see everybody. I'm very, very happy to have you here. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, again, people are coming in and going out all the time. Am I scaring you away? Yes, no, maybe? Okay, this is crazy. Let's get some talking going. All right, let's start with uh, Antonio. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm Hi. doing well, thank you. And you? I am doing very well, thank you. It's good to have you. I'm uh, just going to do another check. Uh, Camila, can you hear me? Camila? I see the little puppy dog and I saw your hand. Are you there? Camila? Okay. Um, Fernando, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. And you? I am doing very well. I am doing very well. I'm happy to have you. Okay. Yep. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. Thank you. Good. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Juan, how are you? Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Very well. Thanks. Good. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Um, Camila, can you hear us? Can you hear us? I see your hand and I see a puppy. Okay. Can you talk? you're not muted. Uh, there's a red button right at the top of your screen uh, that says mute. Click on that, please. And uh, Oh, yeah, now. Can you there hear you me go. <laughs> yes, I can hear you. Very good. Hello, guys. How are you today? Everybody fine? Say hello, Camila. Hello. How are you? <laughs> my name is Camila, and this is my, my third time here. Your third time. Well, we're happy to have you. Let's see. Thank and, you. Uh, Disnaka, how are you? Uh, I'm fine, sir. Uh, <laughs> I'm fine. Keep you fine. Good, good. Uh, Sonia, good to see you again. Or good to see the picture, Sonia. <laughs> All right. Today, this this is. Um, let's see. Uh, Tim, you're breathing too heavily into your microphone. Move it away, okay? Um, yeah, it sounds like a heavy heartbeat. Okay. First of all, you might notice, guys, that I am not wearing my glasses. I cannot find my glasses. So if it looks like I'm staring funny, it's because I am, uh, because I can't see. So uh, let's do our best here. Uh, but today, we're going to work with certain types of verbs. Uh, you're you're going to hear these terms, but I, I'm not so concerned as you knowing what the terms are as to how you can use them. So what we're going to do is I'll say what it is and then instead of telling you it's the future continuous or future progressive, we're just going to try and use them in sentences, okay? And, and I'll show you how to do that. So let's bring it up, okay? And let's make sure everyone can see. Can everyone see that? 
<laughs> yes, I can. can. It is can. not clear, teacher. It is not clear. Okay. Let me try and make it a little bit bigger. Does that help? This is about as big as I can make it. Is, can you see? Is that okay? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, everyone? Okay. Let's start out. Um, I'm going to uh, start out by talking with uh, Antonio. Antonio, can you please read this first line? And, and that's all. Okay? Yes. Okay. Uh, the future perfect is a verb form of construction used to describe an event that is expected, is expected or planned to happen before a time of reference in the future, such as we have finished in the English sentence, I will have finished by tomorrow. Okay, that's a very, very long way, and no, don't try and memorize this, is <laughs> saying simply that when one thing happens, one thing will have already happened. Uh, for example, let's say uh, you will say, by the time uh, I go to class tomorrow, I will have finished Mr. Kevin's class the day before. You see? So that's future perfect. You will do this, but this already took place. That's future perfect. Okay? Uh, does that help make sense, guys? Yes. Okay. And if it doesn't, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> know the term. You'll, you'll be running into it again. Just know the term. Uh, and again, we'll do some practicing. All right. Camila, could you read, please, the second sentence, the future continuous? Okay, future continuous has two different forms. We'll be doing and be going to be doing. Right. So, so in other words, what you're going to say, um, when are you going to uh, do your job? And you'll say, I will be doing the job tomorrow, or I will be going to be doing the job tomorrow. Okay? Uh, that's the future continuous, as opposed to what they call the future simple, which is simply, I will do. The future continuous is just going to go on for a long time. You know, it, it, it won't end as far as we know. So I will be doing this, and it's a, an indefinite time. That's future continuous. Again, don't worry. <laughs> just know that this is a term. Uh, you can look up the definitions on Google later, but I want you to introduce to you to the introduce you to the term. Okay? Now, Disnaka, uh, could you please do this last one? Uh, future perfect. Uh, Go ahead. Okay, so uh, we use the future perfect continuous tense to express situations that will last for a specified period of time at a definite moment in the future. Yeah. So, in other words, it's going to happen and it won't be ongoing like future continuous and won't just happen like future simple but it'll go for a specific period of time and and we'll talk about that okay um, anyway let's move down and let's start by playing with some of these and and this is your your future perfect and this is just future perfect um, and uh, let's see if we can work on these Fernando, can you try number one for me, please? Change it to the future perfect. Um, I am writing a book. Go ahead. What do you think? Um, by this time next month, Jim. By this time next month, yes. I... I will have... Uh. I will have read the book. I will have read the book. I'm I will have read the book. That's no problem. That's why we do this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Yep. Yeah. Number two, please. By this time tomorrow, Maria will uh, prepare uh, the report. We'll have. That's right. We'll have we'll prepared. We have. We have. We will have the prepared. Prepared right. the so, report. So. Yeah. By this time tomorrow, Maria will have repaired, prepared the report. Uh, excuse yes. me. Certainly. Uh, one question. Yes, why, yes. Why Maria will have? Maria will have. 
will have prepared. She's not going to have it, she'll be making it. Is that your question? No, I don't no sir, no, sir. I think he may be asking uh, whether he, uh, whether uh, we can use has plus has. Oh, we. has? Has or have? Yes. Okay. Because you are talking of the tense, it will be have. I have, you have, he will have. If you're, if you're using the future tense, you use the word have. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, it, it, thank you. Great question, and um, Snaka, thank you for the clarification. Thank you. All right. Uh, let's see. Whose turn is it? Juan. Number three, please. By this time next year, Marta will have talk and read German. Well, let's make it simple. <laughs> she have learned German. Okay. <laughs> but <laughs> that's what you meant, right? Okay. But yeah, by Martha will have read and taught. She'll have learned it. She'll have learned it. She's very good. All right. Tin, number four, please. By this time tomorrow, they yes. uh, will have invited on their friends. They will have invited. invited. Yes. Right. On their friends. They will have invited, yeah. Um, an error sometimes make is they'll say, we will have invite, but that will, you need to have that perfect, that past tense put on there. They will have invited. Okay, good job. Uh, Vinicius, have I pronounced that properly, Vinicius? Vinicius? Uh, Chiriaro? Hello, you there? Vinicius? Are you there? Okay, we'll just have to go on. Uh, Antonio, would you please do uh, the next one? Uh, the stuff. Uh, by this time tomorrow, we, we will have brought Very all good. our stuff to our new apartment. We will have brought all our stuff to the apartment. Very good. Thank you, Antonio. All right. Camila. Okay. By this time next week, I will have brought my computer. You will have brought? Yes. Yeah. Check that verb. I will have... Uh, oh, no. Please. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> That's all right. I will have fixed my computer. Very good. Very good. Um, and my favorite thing, food, Disnaka? Uh, yes, sir. No, is, is it number seven? Uh, number seven, please. Uh, by, by the time the guest arrive, my mother, uh, my mother will have made dinner. Will have made dinner. Absolutely. Thank you. I, 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 I. Yes, question? Uh, by the time his fly land, Peter uh, will uh, have read uh, the magazine. Okay. Peter? We have uh, read. We'll have read, yes. Okay. Now, was that... Um, I think Fernando was going to be next. Fernando, uh, did you get a chance? Yep. Uh, by, the, by the time his flight lands, Peter will... Ah, will have read. Yeah, the magazine. So we'll go down... Uh, do this one about my sister and I or the apartment. Do that, number nine here. Fernando. Uh, by this time tomorrow, my, city, my sister and I will have painted. Will have painted, yes. Um, Tin, Tin, your microphone yes, is too close to your face. Move it away because we can hear you breathing. Okay? Be careful, Sorry, okay, buddy? Sir. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Just, just be careful. Uh, let's see. And that was Fernando. We'll have painted. painted. Is that what you painted. said? Painted. Yes. Well, yes. By this time tomorrow, my sister and I will have painted our apartment. Very good. Very good. So it's Fernando. Juan. Uh, your turn, Juan. By the time his parents arrive, John, John will have cleaned the house. Will have cleaned. Very good. 
Okay, well, guys, there. guys, we're getting we're getting some sounds um, from mm. just out out away conversations, things like that. Please, if you can, limit those because it's very distracting. Okay, please be careful. Um, make sure your radios are off, your cell phones are off, and and everybody knows that that you're at a class right now. Okay. So that is, um, it's your future perfect. Let's go. This next is not quite, <laughs> not quite as difficult, but we have all three tenses, and you have to pick the right one. What I'm going to ask you to do, uh, because part of this exercise is, is feeling the sound, is I'm going to ask you to do the whole thing. Read everything, and then... Um, then give the answer. And and because this applies to me, number one, I will do it myself. It says, by the time I'm 60, loses the verb. Let me, please, please, let me do it. Let me do it. Just listen. By the time I'm 60, I, and loses the verb, all my I hair. Lost. Please let me do it. Please let me do it. Please let me do it. Okay. A rule. If I say, please let me do it, let me do it, <laughs> okay? <laughs> I'm the one doing it. So you can think it to yourself, and that's fine, but this is a class, and I need to give the example. So let me do it, okay? It's quite possible that your example is, is not correct. Um, so, Hip, you can speak, but let's speak in turn, okay? We need to speak in turn because we've got... Lots of people all wanting to talk. Uh, and I should be talking the, the least, but I do want to do this example. Okay? Um, and let me do the example and let me show you something that um, one of the other students wrote in here. Okay. So it says, by the time I'm. I'm 60, I, uh, we have lost uh, my hair. Yep, I've just muted you. <laughs> Don't. Talk unless you have a question or I call on you to answer. So I'm going to write this up in big words. Please do not talk unless I call on you or you have a question. We have lots of people who are going to be talking and I want them all to have a chance. I will call on you in order, I promise, but we have to do it in turn. It's the only way we're going to get it to work. Does everybody understand? And yes, yes now you can answer. Yes. <laughs> okay, very good. I will mute you if you talk out of turn, all right? Anyway, I have just lost my hair. <laughs> By the time I'm 60, I lose all my hair. It's I will have lost, will lose, or will be losing. In this case, it will be I will have lost all my hair. And as you can probably see, that it I'm 54, and I have already lost most of my hair. Um, <laughs> I have a student up here. Where was it? I saw him who said, I want my money back. Um, I can't handle that. Who says, by this time tomorrow, my beard will have vanished too. Um, <laughs> that's not the case. So let's, let's pick up where we were. And let's see. Who was there? Juan, uh, could you do number two, please? Read the whole thing and then give me the correct answer. Go ahead. Okay. I won't be able to talk to you in 15 minutes because the verb is due, my homework. Will just read all three. We'll be doing we'll right. be doing my homework. Right. I will do, will be doing, or will have done. Yes, I will be doing. Future continuous. Good job. All right. Tin, your turn. Yes. By the time I get home, uh, my wife will have uh, have will have eaten 
uh, the whole K. Okay. All right. We'll just do it this way. <laughs> That's the way you want to do it. We'll have eaten. We'll have eaten. Very good. Um, it must not be a very big cake then. That's fine. All right. Antonio, number four, please. Yes. Uh, I will talk to my son about his poor test results. Yes, I will talk to my son about his poor test results. Poor kid. All right. Let me go ahead and put in a page break, and we'll go to this one. All right. Camila. Okay, this time tomorrow I will be swimming in the ocean. By this time tomorrow I will be swimming in the ocean, which sounds delightful. Okay, and uh, Jisnaka? Mm, yes, sir. Um, I can't see the answers. So. It's uh, number six, or, I only, see. Only, only one answer uh, can be seen. Oh, you can only see, okay. Um, really? All right, okay. Mm. I will see you at 7. Yeah, I will see you at 7. You could also say, I will be seeing you, seeing. Uh, but I will see is probably best for this one. I will see you at 7. Okay, Fernando, number 7. Um, by the time the guests arrive, I will have cleaned the room. I will have cleaned the room. Yes, by the time the guests arrive, I will have cleaned the room. Um, we can hope. Okay? <laughs> All right. Let's see. So, uh, yeah, it's your turn now. Number eight. Yep, unmute yourself. You've got the mute button on the upper right-hand side. Click on it, please. Okay. Um, you can check that out later. Juan, number eight, please. I decide that I will become a doctor. Yes, I decided that I will become a doctor. Very good. Uh, and make sure you, you do the past tense there, too, because you have done this. This is something you've accomplished. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, Tin, number nine, please. Yes. I will, I will travel for the next month. Now, we are talking about a, a more uh, definite time, so I will be traveling for the next month would be more appropriate here. Um, if you didn't have for the, will travel would be okay. But because you have that, it's I, I will be traveling. Okay? Yes, understood. Okay. Understood. Right. okay. It's, it's, a, it's a nuance. You know, it's, it's very, very... Um, what word am I looking for? Uh, it's a tight distinction, but there is a distinction. All right, Antonio, number ten, please. Uh, I'm really tired today. I will do my exercise tomorrow. Okay, now it's more than one exercise. Exercises. I'm really tired today. I will Sorry, do. Teacher. That's right. That's okay. I will do my exercises tomorrow. Very good. Very good. You'll be as successful as me because I never do them. All right. Okay. More of the same. Uh, before we go on, does anyone have a question about any of this? Anybody? Any questions? No. No? All right. Well, well then we will continue the continuous. Um, go ahead, Camila. Number one, please. Tomorrow I will be painting all day. All day. I, yes, I will be painting all day. It's a continuous. Okay, very good. I will be painting all day. All right, Desnaka, number two, please. By the time we get there, the store will have closed. The store will have closed. <clears throat> it will have happened in the past. This is future perfect. Very good. And now, Fernando, number three. I will see you tomorrow at mm -hmm. 3 p.m. I will see you tomorrow at 3 p.m. A definite future event. Yes, very good. That, that's just future simple. Okay, and now we get Yep. Can you hear? Yep, Tran? Unmute yourself, my friend. Unmute. Can you hear? 
there's a red microphone. There's there's a red microphone at the top of your screen. At the top of your screen, it's a red microphone. Click on it, please. Click on it. Okay. Well, uh, let's see. Juan. After we finish this video, I will be seeing all of these director's movies. Okay. Not I will be seeing, because remember, it's finished. Okay. So that's not future. What, what, will, what happens? I will see. No, because once again, it's over with. So this is happening in the future. This is but, happening. But, but, in the sorry, sorry, teacher. When maybe after, confuse, confuse okay. me. Okay. In other words, yeah, yeah. Let me help you then. Um, think of it like this. I wish I could draw better with this thing. Um, okay. We have a line, a line of time. You see that? Yes. This. Oh, I got to do it again. Oh, shapes. Okay. This is right now. You can. Okay. All right. This is one and this is the other. Okay. We've got the small line, we've got the fat line with a point, we've got the arrow. Okay. This first one, and I'll underline it to get back to my shapes. This first one is what's happening right now. You see? Yes. This is, let's see, come on, a silly thing. This is the video, and this is having seen all of the videos. So I saw all the videos but one. <clears throat> Once I see this one, which is right here, I will have seen all of them. You see? Okay. Um, it is the key word here is after we finish. After we finish this. Okay. We'll have done all of it. That makes it um, future perfect continuous. Which is confusing, <laughs> but, mm, yes. but but do, do you see? Do you see the reference there? Yes, maybe, maybe because I, I think that in the in this in this case maybe he's he's talking that the movie was great, so he's thinking watch more movies about the director. Okay, right. know that okay, that yeah. movie is the is the last movie. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and and what we're looking at, but yeah, you're right. Um, but yeah, more pro. Never mind. I understand what you're saying. Um, okay. Well, good one. Thank you. Thank you. Does oh, anyone have questions about that? One brings up a good point. Nope. All right. So, uh, Tin, number Did five, please. Yes. So, uh, sorry, but I have a, a, one question. But certainly, Antonio. Uh, uh, so the correct is will have seen. Right? I will have seen. Yes, I will ah, yes. have seen. Right here, Just sorry. To know. Thank you. Uh, sure, sure. And thank you for asking me to clarify that. Okay. Tin Fun. Yes. Uh, Can I come over? Go ahead. Yeah. Can I can I come over in uh, an hour? No. I I will be cleaning the house. Yes. No, I will be cleaning the house. Good job. Very good. All right. Oh, I like this one. Antonio, number six. Yes. This time next week, I will be drinking wine in Argentina. I'll be drinking wine in Argentina. Very good. Very good. Again, please <laughs> work on your sounds. It's hard for us to hear each other. So I will be drinking wine in Argentina. Is there anyone here from Argentina? Yes, teacher. 
Who's that? Uh, Juan. Juan, do you have wine in Argentina to share with us? Yes, very good wine teacher. Oh, in Mendoza. <laughs> Mendoza. And, and Juan are the two provinces more famous <laughs> ah, about okay. wine. Oh, okay. Do you have your own kind of sangria in Argentina? Uh, yes, but I don't like sangria. You don't like sangria, okay. But just, just no. all right, just good wine. All right, I'll, I'll have to remember that if I go to Argentina. Okay, so. <laughs> go and invite my house to read right. some good wine, teacher. No problem. Yeah, that would be excellent. Okay, all right, but I guess I better get back to work. Um, <laughs> let's see. I'll be drinking wine in Argentina, but let's go mm. to um, Camila. She doesn't. She doesn't realize what kind of person he is, but she will find out. But she will find out. That sounds ominous. Hmm. Okay. He must be a cad. Must be a jerk. We don't have anybody like that in this class, do we? We're all good people. Like what, did you? No. She doesn't realize what kind of person he is, but she will find out, which means he may not be a very nice person. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, we, would you believe there's some men who aren't very nice? Nah. <laughs> All right. Let's see. If we were going to do this one, um, let's let's say I said, by the time she has gone out with him, what would the correct one be? By the time she has gone out with him, we'll she, have found out. Very good. Yes, she will have found out. Again, that doesn't sound all that wonderful. <laughs> that, was, that was hard. That, yeah, yeah, it was hard. Um, all right, Disnaka, number eight, please. Uh, she insulted me. She insulted me. Uh, I never. Uh, I will never be speaking to her again. That I will never speak. I will never speak to her yeah, again. Yeah, I think I will never speak to her again is better. Um, it, it, it's I stronger think. and is a, a totally non time sensitive. Um, yes. Yeah, that that is much stronger. But as long as we're here, I'm going to show you a word that in English um, is is some street language that I hope you don't. Use, but I'm going to tell you about it. I n s u l t. When when you insult someone, what are you doing? Bad words. Mm. It's not that. Insult. Yeah. Or harass or harm. Not not so much to to harass or harm. Um, it it it's a way of saying bad words. Here here's something. Um. If someone said to me, me as teacher, Mr. Kevin, there are no students who like your classes. Okay? They're saying something bad about me. It is an insult. Mm -hmm. Or they might say, Mr. Kevin, you really need to wear a wig. Your head is ugly. Um, <laughs> something like that. That's an insult. Okay? There is a word that is becoming very popular in English, which is disrespect. As in, he disrespected me. Okay? Um, and the short term for that is to dis. Okay? Um, it, it's from the inner city. Uh, has anyone heard this or heard of this? No, did you? No. I'm not. Yeah. Uh, I did. Uh, who's I? Who just spoke? It's okay. Someone just said I did. Who was it? Maybe Antonio. Antonio, was that you? Hi, teacher. Uh, yeah. No, I just said that I heard that, that word, disrespect. Okay. Yes, heard. okay. You have heard it. Um, now, in that is American slang. I want you to be aware of this. If someone says he disrespected me, it really means he insulted me. 
Okay, I want you to be aware of that if you're talking to someone in America, but it is not correct. It is not correct, and it drives me crazy. Excuse me, bonkers <laughs> when someone uses disrespect as a verb. The other term is dis, which is the short form of disrespect. Um, again, it is not a verb, it is a noun. Uh, and I actually canceled a subscription to a magazine once because they used it as a verb. Couldn't believe it. Did okay. I have a question. Certainly. So was was the correct form to say that he didn't respect me? He did not respect me. He didn't respect me, um, or he insulted. Oh. You can use insult. Yeah. If you're not when you insult someone, you are not showing them respect. You see. You are showing them disrespect. You're insulting them. You see, so that's that's the word you would use, which is why I brought it up. It is the correct one. Okay. Thank you. You're Excuse welcome. Excuse me, sir. May yes, yes. Uh, sir, how do we use uh, this D I double S uh, in a sentence as how, a verb? How do you use what? D I double S. This. You don't. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> if you, you don't, it is not correct grammatically. I want you to be aware of it, but I also want you to know don't use it. It is okay. not correct English grammar or usage. Just just be aware. Don't use it. That's all. That's okay. all. Thank you, but you're welcome. Good question. All right. Um, this not, I think, yeah, it is yours. It is yours. Number nine, please. If he continues drinking so fast, uh, he will have drunk the whole bottle by midnight. Yeah, he must be in Argentina with one. Um, he if, will have drunk. <laughs> he will have drunk. He will have drunk the entire, the whole bottle by midnight. Yes, that is correct. All right. Uh, let's see. Um, Gohan, Gohan, number ten, please. Hey. Yes, yes, please. Gokan? Uh, Kazank? Wait, uh, I'm reading. Okay. Uh, she will not have told me when her birthday is. Okay. It, it's actually a bit simpler than that. This is simply, there's not a will not have told. Uh, we have no conditionals here. So by the time I get there, she will not have told. It's not there. It's very simple. So it's simply, she will not tell. This is just present simple. She won't tell. You see? Oh. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Um, with some of these others, you see, we've got a conditional of some kind. If it happens, she when this happens. But we don't have that here. So it's very okay. simple. I understand. Okay, good. Good. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, Juan, this number one, please. Okay. I will call you tomorrow at 5 p.m. Yes, we have a, a time definite. I will call you tomorrow. Now, people will also say, I will be calling you, but it's usually to, uh, that is incorrect. Uh, you should say, we'll call. But you will hear people say, I will be calling you. But if you have a definite time, it's, I will call. Okay? Okay. Do you see the difference? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, so, Juan, when are you going to call me to tell me to come over and have some good Argentinian wine? <laughs> when you want the eternal problem. <laughs> okay. I, I'm not sure I'm going to make it there soon, but I'll try. All right. <laughs> Rogerio. Number two, please. Rosario, can you read? When she comes here? Rogerio, are you there? All right. How about Tin? Number two, please. Yes. When 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 she comes her here, she will have been uh, this uh, uh, this apartheid. Well, what you would what you would see there is when she will have come here, she will have been disappointed. But again, this is this is somewhat simple. When she comes, she will be disappointed. She will be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's a simple case of of being. She will be disappointed when she comes here. When she gets here, 
Um, clearly, she's not having Argentinian wine because that's so very good. Is that right? Yes, teacher. She, she will not be disappointed. All right. <laughs> okay, let's put in the page break, and this will give us to uh, Antonio, number three, please. Yes, teacher. If I watch this episode again, I will have seen it three times. I will have seen it three times. Very good. Very good. All righty. Camila, number four, please. Why will, why will you be doing at 6 p.m.? I will be watching a movie with my boyfriend. Very nice. What movie will that be? Maybe Twilight. Twilight. <laughs> <Or> Titanic. <laughs> I love Titanic. <laughs> Titanic. Um, yes. I hear the ship sinks. <laughs> <Is that true? laughs> I I have guys. If you can find this movie, this is like probably the absolute perfect movie to watch with a girlfriend and Camila you would love it too so talk your boyfriend into this. Which this one? Is, I'll tell you what it is because it's very obscure. It is called A Little Romance. And that that's all it is. And it's one of the best I, I wouldn't call it the term we use in America is chick flick. Um, but a movie that women primarily like to watch. Um, but that's what it is. But the story involves children, adolescents, um, 13, 14 years old. And, and you know all those stories about like a first love and a young love and how very important that is. Oh, beautiful. It, it's, oh, it, it's beautiful. It treats it very seriously. And it stars as the female lead. Uh, and I think it was in her first role. Diane Lane. I don't know if you've heard of Diane Lane. Um, she's been in a lot of movies. She's been around for years. Uh, but she was a teenager. Uh, and she was probably in her early teens. But the whole story, Diane Lane is an American girl. Her mother is an actress in Paris. Um, Diane Lane meets a little French kid. A uh, boy is like 13 or 14. Very charming. Very French. Uh, and she hears this legend from Laurence Olivier, we got a good cast here, that um, if a couple kisses under the Bridge of Sighs in Venice at evening when the bells toll, they will marry one day. So they're about to get separated, and the story involves are running across Europe. Yes? Sorry, I found it the, the trailer. I you put the link. Oh, good for in, you! In the chat. Great. Then, okay. then I don't need to say anything else. Wonderful. Thank it's you. A it's a the trailer. The I trailer. will see it. What's that, Camila? You I will, will see, it? see it as soon as possible. Yes, yes. And and guys, you know your 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 significant other will love you. She will love you. Uh, it's extremely well done. All right. Well, that's <laughs> a little romance. A little romance. Okay. Thank you, Juan. Um, Naka, had you done this one? Uh, I guess then it's time for Gokhan, right? Number five. Uh, his oh, no, no, wait. I'm s yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Gokhan. She thinks he's telling her the truth, but eventually she... Uh, uh, this is very simple. Realize? She will realize it's future, future simple. She thinks he's telling her the truth, but eventually she will realize that he's lying. Boy, what does that say about guys? <laughs> he must not be watching a little romance. Okay. <laughs> All right, um, Tisnaka, I'm sorry, I skipped you. Number six, please. Uh, do you want to meet me in half an hour? Uh, no, I can't. Mm. No, I, uh, the screen disappeared, sir. I can't oh dear. read it now. Uh, do you want to meet me in half an hour? No, I can't. I, I'll be studying uh, with my sister. Yes, 
I will be studying or I'll be studying are both correct. Yes. Very good. Good. Thank you. All right. Juan, number seven, please. Okay. By this time tomorrow, I will finish it, this book. Well, you would say I will have finished because, again, okay. we've got a, a time Sorry. conditional. That's okay. Now, if you use with, you'd say I will be finished with the book. If the word with was in here, but since it's not, then it will be I will have finished. Okay. 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 Good job. Uh, Ruggiero. Ruggiero, can Hi. you hear? Hi, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Go ahead, number eight. Uh, are you going to tell me or not? Uh, okay, fine. I will tell you. I will tell you. Yep, simple and direct. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Okay. And let me uh, insert a page break here. And Tin, number nine, please. Yes. By this time, he get out the chair. He, he, he will have forgotten how to function in the real world. He will have forgotten how to function in the real world. It's one of the problems with jail. But yes, that is correct. Thank you, Tin. Good job. Um, well, let's see. Antonio, welcome. Can you do this last one? Teacher? Yes. Antonio uh, Alfredo. Alfredo, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How are you doing? You're going to punch me. I am doing well, and I'm so very sorry. Go ahead and do that, Alfredo. Kevin, I, I, I'm just uh, coming. Okay. I'll get Antonio. I know I will. Go ahead, Antonio. Okay. Um, I blank to let you know as soon as I can. Uh, I will try to yep. let you know as soon as I can. I will try to let you know as soon as I can. Okay. That that finishes is the um, the exercises. Hello. <clears throat> the teacher lost connection. Oh my god. Antonio. Your friends, uh, what, hap what happened? Our, our teacher disappeared. Teacher lost connection. Ah, yes. <laughs> that is yeah. what we Welcome think. back. <laughs> Sometimes he will come back, I think. He back. Will he come back? He to kick me out. We believe. Hello. Teacher, yes, I miss I'm you. Yes, I'm back. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't quite sure what happened, <laughs> except I um, I got rid of, we're, we're done with the exercise part of it, so I wanted to take a few minutes like I often do, just to just have, you know, dialogue, um, questions, is there anything you guys would uh, like to ask me about English, about America, about me, um, anything? Yes, teacher, Malbec yes. or Cabernet? I'm sorry? Malbec or Cabernet? I don't understand the question. The wine, Malbec or oh, Cabernet? Oh, oh okay, because we would pronounce it uh, Cabernet. Uh, the Cabernet, the Cabernet. That that would be very good. 
Uh, I'm not I'm not too fond of a Merlot. Uh, the Cabernet would be good. Okay. Um, but but to be honest with you, I'm more of a beer drinker. But I'll drink a good wine. <laughs> Which beer, teacher? Black, blonde. I'm, I like the darker beers. Um, uh, uh, let's see. I learned the first beer I really drank was Guinness. You know that dark stout. Yes. And I still like your porters. Um, it's from Scotland. It's from Ireland. It's from okay. Ireland, so close enough. Uh, but any of the dark beers. Um, and there's one that I tried, made by a, a brewery in in Delaware here in America, that the guy who's the brewmaster looks. He's a historian. So he tries to make old beer recipes from ancient times. He did one called Midas Touch, which he put together uh, from ingredients they did from a spectroanalysis of a drinking bowl from uh, <laughs> ancient Persia. Um, and it's good. <laughs> it was very good. But that's what he does. Okay, other questions? Teacher. Uh, excuse me. Uh. Okay, let's see. Teacher. Yes. Uh, I, I have a question. Uh, yes, yes. Is the future perfect progressive? Yes. Yes. Uh, how uh, how to use the present perfect yes, pro progressive? The future perfect progressive. Well, let's bring it back up, okay, so we can see it. Um. And let me get the screen up. Future perfect progressive is the future continuous, future perfect continuous. Okay? In other words, it's going to last for a certain amount of time. Okay? Uh, let's see. When we get there, I will be doing this, okay? Or um, let me find a better way to do it. Uh, future perfect continuous. I'm going to find a better example. Give me half a sec here. Come on, okay. Sir, excuse me, sir. What's that? Now, if I uh, make a sentence like this, uh, I will be learning English for five years by next December. That is that correct? I will have been learning, yes, English for five years. Oh, yes, come I next will December. have yeah. been learning. Yes, that's good, yeah, is, that, I like that. Um, is that uh, I will have been learning English. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. I will have been learning English for five years by next month. Yeah, that's great, thank you for that. All right, anything else? If you don't know, Ask Tiznaka, he's very good. Sir, uh, I have another question, sir. <laughs> sure. Uh, I have uh, heard uh, some people use a uh, future continuous sentence uh, in a practical situation like this. Uh, I will be coming soon. I will be coming soon. Uh, which is better? I will come soon or I will be coming soon? Uh, that's just the future continuous. I will be coming soon. In other words, it depends on the question. When will you come? Uh, I will come soon. Um, I will come, yes. Okay. Uh, or they say, when will you be coming? Meaning we're not sure. Well, I'll be coming in a little while. Uh, it, it depends on the question, what, what words you use. So if they okay. say simply, when will you come? You want to answer it in the simple. Okay? So, uh, I like simple. Then ref uh, referring to future, uh, by uh, present co continuous, I am coming soon. Is that uh, it is... Uh, uh, yeah, when, uh, when I talk, uh, when talking about the definite future, definite, I am coming soon. That is that is correct. But yeah, I am coming soon. When are you coming? I am coming soon. So you'd use it to answer that question. Okay, thank uh, you. Sir. It's like the um, the movies. If you go to the cinema, they they say this movie is coming soon to this theater. Okay, it won't say come soon. It is coming soon. It will be thank here. It'll be here for a while. Okay, good question. Sure. Uh, other questions?
Anything? Teacher. Okay. Yes. Uh, so can I use uh, the future, the future continuous, and the future perfect progressive in the same situation? No. Think back to what Desnaka said. If it's if it's uh, future perfect continuous, it is an event of a limited time that will have concluded by the time you get there. You see? Yeah. So future perfect, future perfect continuous are not the same thing. They're not but, uh, but uh, can I use the future continuous? Future continuous and the future perfect progressive in the same situation. Give me a, an example. It's um, um, complicated. Uh, See, I, I can't think of a circumstance where you would want to do that. I can't I, think where you would. <laughs> well, teacher, I did that. I did say it. Mm -hmm. um, I, I just don't know a circumstance where you would want to do something like that. Um, it just it just doesn't make sense to me. Ah oh, yes. Oh okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Anybody Thank else? You. Yes. Sorry, maybe it's a personal question, but mm -hmm. what is the picture in your ring? Oh this? Yes. Um are are you familiar with Mensa? Have you heard of Mensa? No. Okay. Um it, it's a club. Um, it, uh, basically, it, it's a club for smart people. Um, that's about all it is. Uh, it means you did a, a score on a test that was high or something like that, and, and pretty much it. Um, but I'm a member, and it's an international organization, um, so I like to wear my ring. It's the one I wear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But yes, good question. Thank you for asking. Uh, all right. So I get to brag. <laughs> all right. Other questions? If it's too personal, I'll tell you. It's okay. Go ahead. Anybody? Nobody? Hmm. Is, is future Did perfect? You? Yes. Yeah, this is my question. Yes. Uh, I, I arrived uh, uh, late in this class. Yeah, sorry. Uh, future perfect to use ever referring to this to this current time. Mm, what do you mean? Uh, future perfect the, the by by this time or the just referring to this time this time. Well, when you're saying by the time, you're yeah. automatically predicting the future. So say by the time this occurs, you are predicting a future event. So it's it's not current time anymore. The event that will have occurred might be taking place right now. But then so far as we're concerned, no. So let's say, for example, um, there's a, a, a football game going on right now. Right now. You want to arrive at your friend's house, but the game will be over. So you'd say, by the time I arrive, the football game will have ended. You see? Okay. And you're still dealing with future perfect, even uh, though the game is taking place. Okay? Okay. Uh, all right. Good, great question, though. Uh, Kevin. Yes. Uh, this week we celebrate in, in Latin America the uh, Holy Week. Do you celebrate Holy that? Week. Oh, absolutely. Um, in you know, there's there's fifty some million Catholics, Roman Catholics, in the United States, and it's primarily a Christian country. So, and of course, it's a Christian holiday. Um, so, most of our Protestant denominations, Episcopalians, the, the more traditional ones, indeed celebrate Holy Week, and the Triduum, the Holy Thursday, Good Friday, you know, uh, Holy Saturday, um, uh, uh, Triduum. Um, oh yeah, very very important here. Um, but of those of us that that still practice, um, and I'm one of them, um, I used to do a lot of that. 
Uh, are you gonna, are you going to teach in, in Thursday and Thursday on Friday? I probably will. Yeah, um, I've, I'm getting myself settled. Back in in my older days, <laughs> I actually took part, active part, in reading some of the scriptural readings, um, in um, and sometimes even acting them out, doing the Stations of the Cross, all that sort of thing. Big stuff. Uh, my favorite reading during the uh, uh, Holy Saturday service is the, the parting of the Red Sea. Oh, I love that one. I love to read it. Yeah, um, it's, it's very interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Okay, any other questions? Teacher, I have to go now. Okay. Thank you so much it, for the class. Okay, welcome for coming. Bye, Thank you. Bye-bye, everybody. Teacher. Goodbye. It is time to go. <laughs>